Hi guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to modernize Windows and make it look much nicer, cleaner and give you an overall better experience. I'm going to be making a whole playlist of videos on how to make customize Windows 10 and make it look much nicer. Subscribe and turn on notifications to get notified when I launch the next one. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to change your desktop from looking like this and make it look like this. So without further ado, the intro. So we're first going to start with the taskbar. Windows 10 has a large search bar which is really unnecessary as you can just search for something by going on to start. So let's right click on it and select show search icon. Or if you really want, you can hide it all together. Now if you want you can also remove the task view button. Ok, now let's sort out the pinned apps on the taskbar. I'm going to unpin Microsoft Edge as I use Google and I also don't need mail. Now on desktop, I'm going to right click and uncheck show desktop items. But if you use desktop a lot to save things and keep things there, then just create a new folder and move everything there. And to make it look even better, just set that icon to a blank one and leave the name empty. I'll make a video on how to do that in the coming week. Now system tray is quite chaotic, so let's hide everything by moving it here to the overflow menu. So now let's customise a bit. Let's make the date and time look a bit nicer and more modern. So open up your web browser and search for T-Clock on GitHub. Then open this and go to releases and open up the latest release and at the bottom select tclock.zip to download it I'll put a download link in the description below now to make this easy for you let's create a new folder in your C drive called tweaks or whatever you want to call it and I'll put all the modifications and tweaks in here so let's extract this and move it into a new folder in C drive Now open this and go to clock 64, double click it and I'm not sure if you noticed but at the bottom right the date and time has changed. So I've installed this before so it's just using the custom settings I set beforehand but I'll still go through this out with you and show you the custom settings I recommend. So right click on it and go to T-Clock options. Now go into time format. Check advanced clock formatting and input this MMM space D a few spaces H colon NN space TT. Now it looks much nicer. Now you can also change the clock color. For now, I'll keep it white. And you can check out this file to see what all these letters mean. And you can use your own settings if you want. Right, so now back on clock text. I'm going to change the font to Sego UI Semi Bold. And I'm going to change the size to 10. Or you can change it to whatever you like depending on your screen size and what you think looks best. And there are loads more options you can check out to customise it further. And don't forget to go down to about and check start T-Clock Redux when Windows starts and apply changes and press OK. So as you can see the T-Clock works in normal, if you click on it you get the normal date and time features and if you right click on it you've got access to much more quick shortcuts and loads more features. Now let's make the rest of the taskbar look much nicer. So go onto your web browser and search up online for taskbar x and github. So click on the first one that comes up and go to releases and click on the latest release and click on this one taskbar x and now let's do the same thing we did last time let's extract this folder
and let's move it to tweaks. Now open the folder and go down to taskbar X and double click on it. And as you can see all the icons centered. Now let's double click on taskbar X configuration which is a few files up from taskbar X. And over here you're going to have access to some settings to customize this feature. So first you've got the style. You can select transparent for see through effect. And you can check out all the other styles. I'm going to leave mine at default. Then you've got the animation. I like to leave it at this animation. I can't really tell the difference between all the others. And I'm going to set the animation speed to 3600. And then you've got a whole bunch of settings. I'm going to leave them all, but you can mess around how you like. Next up is Power Toys, which is also by coincidence on GitHub. So search for Power Toys on GitHub. And click on this. It's actually made by Microsoft themselves. And click on releases and download PowerToysSetup.x. Now there's a really cool new features you get with this. I made a whole video about this. I put a video card up on the top right corner. But the feature I'm going to show you is a search UI. First start the program. After you set up Windows Power Toys, it will automatically start running in the background. Now go to the system overload tray and right click on the Power Toys icon and click on settings. Now in settings you've got a whole bunch of options, they've all been set to my custom settings which I set last time. Now make sure Power Toys Run is enabled, you can edit the shortcut for one, I'm going to leave that all and space. Then set the maximum amount of search results that come up, I'm going to set it to 6 and I'm going to choose Windows Default Mode for appearance. Now when you press Alt Space Anywhere, a nice modern and fast search box comes up. It's much cleaner and faster and nice and overall way better experience than Windows in but one. Once again check out my other video about Windows Power Toys to see that all the other really cool features Windows Power Toys includes. The last thing is to enable light mode. This might not seem like a big thing for you but it does make Windows experience look very nice and clean. So go on to settings and then go on to personalization and click colors and under choose your default windows mode change it to light and under choose your default app mode change that to light but now as you can see the date and time at the bottom right isn't as clear so i'm going to right click on that and go on to t clock options and under clock text i'm going to change the color to a dark black i'll click apply and ok and it's done and lastly, if you go to wallpaperhub.app, there's some beautiful wallpapers to finish our PC's look. So maybe this one. And now I've got a nice clean modern PC look. Now this last bit might surprise you, but I'd like to clean up the start menu. So I'll go on to settings and search for the start settings. I'll disable show app list in start and I'll enable show more tiles in start. Now all that's left to do is to redesign the start layout. years later and voila